Hi, I'm Dr. Brad Shook. I'm a board-certified chiropractic physician in Hickory, North Carolina at Hickory Spine. And today I want to talk to you about how much is someone compensated for an auto injury. You know, I get asked this question sometimes, and I'm no attorney, and I, and I really don't like to discuss these types of topics, but it's important that we have this conversation because, unfortunately, I've become familiar with the process, not because I really wanted to, but because I had to. Uh, because what you find out is that when people are in auto accidents, their life completely changes. They oftentimes uh, lose their transportation. They lose their ability to work. They become financially stressed. And because you're their provider and you're caring for them, you learn a lot more about these types of, of problems. And then you hear throughout the course of your care what happens. And then you see, you see because it is a medical legal type of, of, of work that, that you oftentimes are made aware of the outcomes. So, you know, I've learned over time that number one, you cannot have any, there, there's no way to predict how auto injuries are compensated. You know, what, what used to be done years ago was that um, the person, you could kind of see, well, what are the medical bills? And the person would be, re it would be paid for as three times the medical bills, which is, it makes no sense, quite frankly. It doesn't make any sense. Your medical bills, um, your medical bills don't dictate compensate. They shouldn't dictate compensation at all. You should be getting the care that you need for the reasons that you need that care to help you get reduce pain and re, and restore your function and your ability to, to do the things so that you can avoid permanent problems long term. Okay, that's why you should get care. That's why you should get care. It's really the only reason that you should get care. The not for you know not for any other reason and, and your compensation shouldn't be based off of your the amount of bills. So what what is really the environment today, which is what I think is is how it should be is that people are compensated based on what they've what they've lost financially what they've lost as a result of the accident um, also you know opportunities that they will may lose in the future and then what is their you know what is their uh, potential loss of of income in the future if they have any permanent problems if you have permanent problems so really this can't be determined until you've gone through all of the and you received all of the treatment that you need from all of your providers and you can make a final uh, decision on okay this person has reached maximum improvement from their injuries so you can look back you know prior to that point you know what all did they lose while they were receiving treatment and then you can say okay here they are today these are their problems that they have how's this going to affect them long term and then a you know and an estimate as to if they need future treatment, um, if they're going to lose the ability to to work or to do something that you know they they chosen, are they going to lose enjoyment of of activities that they can no longer do in the future? There's a lot of variables that come into play, right? So it's like, what did you lose as a result of the accident? You know, up until the time that you made you know, maximum improvement, and then what are you going to lose in the future, if anything? And all that is taken, trying to, you know, take into consideration. Um, there's there's a lot of a lot of variables that come into play, but those are some of the most important ones. And and really that's how it should be, guys. It's not, it shouldn't be at all based on any type of medical care that you receive. Uh, what it should be done is based on what you lose, what are you likely to lose in the future, and um, how can you be compensated to fairly to to help um you know, make up for, for that lost, that lost opportunity, enjoyment, and, um, you know, just fulfillment. There's a lot of, there's a lot of things that have to be considered. It's not an easy thing to, uh, to determine, but that's, that's how you're compensated. Okay. So it's not an easy answer, but the fact is, is that it's really important to, um, understand how it works and how it should work in my opinion and uh, how it did work in the past. So anyway, I hope this helps you better understand how people are compensated for auto injuries. If you have been in an auto accident or car wreck or, you know, if you've, if you've had some kind of uh, trauma and you like my opinion on your case, whether or not I can help you, I'll be happy to give you my opinion. If I can't help you, I'll refer you to the appropriate specialist. And if you'd like to make an appointment, just give us a call. My staff will be happy to help you out. Our phone number is 828-324-0800. You can also go to hickoryspine.com to learn more about what we do. But I appreciate you guys. Hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Talk to you again soon.